rough experiment. Hello, and I am George. I am a boy. And today we'll be doing an exciting experiment about a frog. That's supposed to be a good thing. We are, you are going to need a bottle of water, a small piece of thingy, and a polystyrene, and a bigger one of polystyrene, and then a piece of wood, oh no we won't do that, and a marble. For the next experiment. So, welcome back to our science experiment. What you're going to do is you're going to get two pieces of plastic seeds, you're going to put them in your water, and you're going to use wood and put it in your water up to that, and you're going to use a marble and you're going to put that in up to that. And once you've put one of them in, you'll push it. And then you'll put the wood in and you'll push it. And you put the marble in and then you push it. And then you see what happens. All you need for the next experiment is tin foil. Shiny. So, what you're going to do will come in the next video. Now my hair is back to normal. You will get this tin foil and you will put it in like this. You will put it in the water like this and then you will put it in the water like that. Like that. And, well, not like that. Anyway, so you will do this and <laughs> then. And then you shape it, shape it into a different shape, and put it in the water. <whistles> like a boat. You can shape it into like a boat. Good idea, yeah? You will record it on a piece of paper. And you will write down what happens. Does it float or sink? And if you can feel it being pushed back up, then write that down. Have any of you news or got any questions? Here's the results of my experiment. Put the foam in and it floated. But I pressed it down with my fingers and the Uxa was pushing it back up, trying to keep it up. But this, the Uxa is only in the water. And as you can see, it pushes it down and it bounces back up. Boom. And there's gravity, so it's trying to push it down, but the Uxa just keeps it down. This is the wood. You put it in, it still floats, but just a bit deeper because it is a heavier object and the up thrust is still pushing it up though because when I press it down, it bounces back up. Gravity is trying to push it down again, but the up thrust is winning. And you push it, but it keeps just bouncing up. And that's the wood. This is a marble. I put it in, but it doesn't float. And you can't press it down because it's at the bottom. Because the up thrust is too weak on it. It's just too heavy. And if you dropped it in from a high distance, it would splash. It would the um, 
filing, or technical filing, and it does slow, but if you press it down, it does not come up. This is because it does not display much water. So there is very little upflow. And there. And let's get the action. So, now you have a picture print file. And what you do with it is, I'm going to put it into both. So, I'll put it in there. This is the um, side div. That's it. And then um, here's my boat. Then it's slow. That, and if you push it, it goes under, and it gets filled up with water, and that will make it sink. And the upflow cannot push up more water. Uh, so um, if you put this in, it floats. Have we learned today? We have learned all your objects are forced down into the water by gravity. When uh, when an object is very light, like the foam, it will float. And when it displaces a large area of water, like the boat, it will float. The reason is because there is another force in the, the water. Uh, <laughs> and it <laughs> it's called up from. We could feel it pushing from on the wood. Um, now I want you to write up our amazing experiment and send your work to me. The best write-up will win an Easter egg. And I'm not joking. I want to do a write-up now and then I'll get into Wow! Wow! Uh oh, it exploded! Now you can go to bed! Once you've done your right thing. Oh, I haven't done my right thing yet. I'm lying. Never mind. And I want to say thanks to my helper. Come on, helper. Show your face. Your very own Miss Hopwood. Yes, yeah, she will give you the Easter egg. 